Mexico has captured its most wanted drug lord. Servando Gomez is the leader of the Knights Templar cartel, one of the deadliest in Latin America. He's also known as La Tuta for his former teaching career. He carries a $2 million bounty. CCTV's Frank Contreras has more from Mexico City. Servando Gomez, alias La Tuta, was the powerful leader of the Knights Templar criminal organization. He previously belonged to a separate drug trafficking group called La Familia. Under Gomez's command, the Knights Templar moved illegal drugs, controlled politicians and police, and committed untold numbers of kidnappings and extortions. In the underworld of Mexican drug trafficking, La Tuta is an unusual figure. He held news conferences on YouTube and provoked scandals by posing for photos with local government officials. Citizens of western Michoacán state trembled under Servando Gómez's reign of terror. The state became a hot spot for violence. In response, local residents formed so-called self-defense groups, which were heavily armed. We struggled to protect our own families, but also others, even those we cannot see, but with whom we share a dream of a Mexico filled with peace and dignity. The arrest of La Tuta comes one year after the capture of Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, who was the leader of the Sinaloa drug trafficking organization, one of the world's most powerful criminal groups. Today's announcement is yet another feather in the cap of President Enrique Peña Nieto, whose popularity has been waning since 43 students went missing in September 2014. The arrest of La Tuta comes along with another announcement that President Peña Nieto's Attorney General, Jesus Murillo Caram, will be resigning his post. Frank Contreras, CCTV, Mexico City.